Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I get this question, I get this question a lot, which is basically how can I find a job in software development that doesn't involve any design? I don't want to design any user interfaces. I don't want to have any user interfaces anywhere near my fingers. I don't want to be, I just want to write the dang code, the back end code. I don't want to do any of that stuff, right? Uh, I did some videos on design. I think I did, can I get a job without design or how can I learn design as a programmer? You can check those, the, those videos out. But I haven't really talked about like, can you actually, you know, how do you find a job with, or what kind of jobs exist without design? So I thought I'd, I'd go into a little bit more detail here to give you some ideas because this was me for a while, right? Is I just wanted to code, I didn't want to do design stuff. And it seems like today there's a lot more, you know, full stack developers that, that are expected to do design. So I want to give you some options if you're like, man, you know what, I just want to write the code. I don't want to know anything about design. You know, I think you should have some, some sense of it. You know, I've always wanted to, to learn more about this. If I were continuing, if I didn't go down this road and I was continuing going down the program road, I probably would have spent a lot of time learning design so that I could you know, have more of a complete ability to develop a full application by myself. Maybe at some time I will go back and study design a little bit as well because it's, it's it is an interesting aspect, you know. But 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 for those of you that don't want to learn any design, oh by the way, I'll, I'll I'll side note here. If you did learn design, if you're a programmer and you want to be an entrepreneur, that means that you could build the whole product yourself. Just a thought there. It, it's not necessary, but just a thought. But anyway, if you don't want to learn any design, here's this video is for you. So. Where can, where can you start? So first of all, the first place I would look is any kind of thing where you are basically working on, let's say an embedded system. <laughs> That's a great place, right? Let's say you're working on firmware for things like, you know, companies that, you know, that have printers like HP or Samsung or you know, television companies, embedded systems, typically you're not going to have design. You're not gonna be working with user interface. Now these devices have user interfaces, but there's a lot more code going on behind the scenes and you're gonna find a lot of challenging type of problems to work on in that space because those things, a lot of those don't even have user interfaces. So there you go, that's a good place. I did a lot of embedded systems work when I worked for HP and that was fun. It was a really challenging environment. If you really like working with hardware and timings and, and really getting down to the, the, the physical aspect of it, but, but you don't wanna be anywhere near design, that's a good place to go. Along with that, another good place is bigger companies like corporations where they have professional design teams. So for example, you know, even when I was working at HP, we had, I did do some, some user interface programming when we were doing, bringing .NET to printers originally and I was involved in that project. You can check out my story, my career story here is I think we're like at part five or six. I'll continue that on, you know, but, uh, and you can, you can hear about that a little bit, but essentially what happened in, in that environment and what happens a lot of corporations is they give us like a pixel perfect design that we had to implement. So that was pretty cool for me. I liked that because I couldn't come up with a good looking design, but it was a challenge and it was actually fun to figure out how to make it look exactly how they had laid it out, pixel perfect. To, to create the, the user interface, the buttons, because I was, I was creating custom controls, in fact. So we had like, you know, a button I was responsible for creating or a, a tab, a tab view. It's one of the things I had created and I had to make it pixel perfect. So that was, that was kind of fun. So that, those, are, those are two options. Another option is to do anything that's sort of very business logic or programming like database related if you're working on that end of a system. A lot of big systems, right? The bigger the system is, the more likely that you won't have to do design work because you can find a specialty within that system. So big software applications are typically going to have that. Uh, another one would be anything that has to do with, if you're looking for specific jobs, look for jobs around web services or APIs, right? A lot of companies are working on APIs and web services today. 
So you could do that kind of stuff. Another one would be, again, on the hardware side, robotics, right? Uh, IoT type of stuff where you're, you're going to have less. I mean, there's probably usually some kind of user interface, but machine to machine communication, that's another area. I worked for a company called M2M Communications, machine to ma machine communications. And we had, you know, obviously some user interfaces on, on some of the products, but for the most part, most of the bulk of the code and logic was, was non user interface. Face, right so you want to think about applications software places where there's less user interaction or where there is not a user interface or it's a large there's a lot of logic happening behind the scenes right the more logic that's happening behind the scenes the more chance that and, and this seems like obvious right this is obvious advice but but I, I want to make this video because a lot of people have been asking me this and they, they question whether there are jobs like that because you see all these web development jobs and you think, oh, I got to know design. So, so short answer is this. It basically comes down to this. Look for places that have high logic or don't have user interfaces where there's a lot of stuff going on in the back end that, are, that, that you could you know, do write code and, and not have to worry about design. That's option one. Option two is look for big companies where they're going to have design teams or big applications where they're going to design even web applications where they have a designer that designs the thing for you and you're just going to implement that pixel perfect you know, design or you're going to just implement the design so you don't have to come up with the design. And then the third option I would say is that you can hire a designer yourself if you're like doing, if you're an entrepreneur, right? If, if you are trying to build an app and you're like, well, I don't have the design skills, you can hire designers. There's plenty of sites to do that. I mean, a more expensive one is 99designs.com. I'm sure you've heard of, but you can go on Upwork, you can go on Fiverr, you can get designs made for you, or you can find someone who is a designer and partner with them, but you don't have to be good at like, and, and again, one of the reasons why I'm making this video is because I feel like this is a stumbling block for a lot of developers, new developers especially, that feel like they have to learn design. I think it's a good idea. I think it's great to learn some design, but you just might not like it, or you might not feel like you're good at it, or it just might be something that is keeping you from advancing your career. So don't don't worry about that. You don't need design. You know, you don't let that stop. You don't say, oh, I can't be a web developer because I don't know how to design good web pages. I can't design good web pages. I made plenty of money in the living in career, making good income as a web developer without knowing much about design because because it, it, it wasn't necessary, right? I, I could put up a, a very ugly design and someone could make it make it look better or I could implement someone else's design. So anyway, that's it. That's a good question. And if you have a question for me, email me at john at simpleprogram.com and uh, have a good day. If you like this video, subscribe. Take care.